Welcome to Taking It Home. Taking God's Word to heart and taking God's Word home. Uh, as I read this Sunday's readings, uh, I was really struck by the one responsorial psalm where it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Um, I never really thought about that, that, that I should somehow be blessing the Lord. Have you? Uh, it really hit me. You know, I ask God to, to bless my family. I ask God to bless my friends if I'm in a selfless mood. I ask God to bless me all the time. Um, but do I ever try to be a blessing to God and give Him a blessing? Uh, do I ever look at my life as something that should be a blessing to Him? Uh, or do I look at Him as just someone who should be blessing me? Uh, it's kind of interesting. It makes you realize, like, who's really in charge, me or God? And I guess if God's really in charge, then I'm supposed to be a blessing to Him. You know, it's interesting, in this Sunday's Gospel, Jesus is baptized, which is kind of weird. Why would Jesus need to be baptized? He doesn't need to begin a relationship with God. Uh, he is God, and He's sinless, and He's a member of the Trinity. I don't really think you could get a better relationship with God than to be a member of the Trinity. And yet there he is at baptism, at a sacrament, getting baptized. Uh, and he doesn't even need it. Why? I think it's because he decided to be a blessing to God. And he knew that God needed him to set an example for us. And God needed him to be one of us. That being baptized is just another part of the Incarnation wasn't necessary, it wasn't even quite fair that Jesus had to be baptized. Um, but he did it to be a blessing to God, and then God turned that into a blessing for us um, as he joined our community, uh, a community of sinners. That same community of sinners, Jesus uh, honored again and decided to, bless, to become a blessing to God again for uh, on the cross. Uh, Jesus didn't need to die on the cross for himself. He certainly didn't deserve it, and yet there he went. You know, it's interesting. I go to church all the time thinking, what's in it for me? When really, maybe I'm supposed to be going to church thinking, what's in it for God? Uh, I go to God in prayer thinking, what's in it for me? And I wonder, maybe I'm supposed to go in prayer and ask myself, what's in this prayer for God? Uh, maybe that's the difference between living for God and living for myself. And if I'm living for myself, am I really even praying? And it really hit me that uh, sometimes the way that I look at God really needs to change. Uh, that's what God's Word says to me uh, in this Sunday's readings. But more importantly, what does it say to you? I know that God has something to say to all of us all the time. And He certainly has something to say to us in His Word. And He certainly has something to say to us in His Word at the Mass. So this Sunday, go to Mass and listen for God. Ask Him, what's the one thing you need to say to me today, Lord? And maybe, as Matthew Kelly says, uh, write it down. And then, um, you know, adjust your life. I know I'm going to try to adjust mine. That's what I'm taking home this Sunday from the readings, as I try to take God's Word to heart. God bless, and enjoy your week.